So Cherish OS for the Redmi K20 Pro has been a brilliant ROM when it comes to Android 11. It had a lot of customizations, amazing performance and a lot of promises and other things along with that. So, you know, I used two or three different versions of Cherish OS on Android 11 and now we are moving to Android 12 and this ROM is getting better. There are still some nagging issues which might stop me from recommending you guys to use this as a daily driver but we will check that in today's complete review in which i have sort of you know had a glimpse at gaming and we might do a gaming review on this rom maybe a little later down the line when this gets more stable more better but today we have the initial impressions and sort of a quick review of cherish os version 3.0 based on android 12 for the redmi k20 pro so before we get into the details if you haven't already Please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1,000 to 1,500 people over there. We're present on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the social media platforms so you can join us there. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, let's see here what we exactly have. We have Cherish OS version 3.1 official based on Android 12. This is the initial build, which is released on the 10th of November, 2021. Now, what it says over here is use latest Android 10 firmware for your device region. Now, this is really, really important because Android 10 firmware has been performing better, you know, in comparison with Android 11 firmware for the Redmi K20 Pro. And this ROM, although on Android 12, it is based on Android 10 firmware. So that is a good thing. This is an initial build of Android 12. So clean flash is needed. Please back up all your important data, which I always say it is a very good practice to regularly keep backing up your data because you might, you know, lose some important files while you're flashing different ROMs every now and then. Now, the last thing that it says over here, the ROM is based on OSS vendor and Soviet star kernel. Now, whenever we hear the name Soviet star kernel, you will understand that this ROM is going to perform decent or great because Soviet star with Siberia OS since the time of Android 11 has been doing a great job. So let's see how it performs in this particular ROM. Now, it does come with G apps and it has the source change log, which will be huge, as I said. So if you really, really are into change logs and stuff, I would recommend you pause the video and have a look at the change log and you have a support group over here as well. So I basically installed this particular ROM yesterday. And since then I have been, you know, testing different things like battery backup and charging and the benchmark numbers and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and talk about a few things over here. Now, as always, the first thing that you will notice on this particular ROM, the moment you boot into it is a bunch of icons, the Google search bar at the bottom, a navigation pill at the bottom and nothing else. Android 12 is basically very, very clean and all the custom ROMs based on Android 12 are very clean as well. Now, the same thing goes for this particular ROM that is Cherish OS version 3.1. Now, you do see that I have AccuBattery enabled over here, so we'll talk about that in a bit. But before that, as you can see, we have a beautiful Iron Man wallpaper over here with themed icons and Monet UI doing a brilliant job over here. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you have the usual Android 12 stuff going on with all the important quick tiles being enabled or available to be used by default. Now, one of those quick tiles is screen recording. And this is a very, very good setting over here because the moment you click on start, you will notice that the screen recording starts after a timer just like any other AOSP or custom ROM. And the good thing about this particular ROM is even after having these many apps, even after, you know, enabling screen recording, there is zero lag, zero stutter, nothing, no stutter or no jitter at all. So even if you record gameplay, which I did, it's, it's really smooth. You can actually go ahead and upload that gameplay on social media platforms and YouTube, and you can edit using that as well. So that's a good thing. And we will talk about gaming in a little bit, not in depth, but very, very basic. I tried a couple of matches and that's what we're going to talk about. So you have your quick tiles over here. And the moment you stop the recording over here, you will notice that it is processing the video and it processes the same real quick. Now let's quickly go ahead and see our custom ROM. And the good thing about this particular ROM is even after having these many apps, as you can see, after, so the, the screen recording is working absolutely fine. If you talk about the app icon animations on this particular ROM, Android 12 is doing a brilliant job, as I would say. 
because as you can see the smoothness is just next level now remember i flashed this on ext4 that is the normal partition so if you flash this using f2fs because this is a oss vendor based rom you don't actually need any patches so you can flash it on f2fs data partition and the smoothness will be even better i can guarantee that so moving on if you talk about additional quick tiles over here because this is cherish os it has started getting customization first of all you do have your initial tiles which are your privacy tiles for mic camera and location you can go ahead and enable or disable access to those now apart from this you have sync heads up so the good thing over here is heads up because when you're gaming you want to disable heads up notifications you have always on display you have sound search music reboot a quick tile for reboot that's something different and you have all your usual tiles and the animation which you get is really really beautiful just have a look this animation looks really subtle really smooth and that improves your experience even more so in the center over here you have the power menu in which you do have the advanced option so advanced power menu is almost making its way to all the custom roms available these days for the Poco X3 Pro for the Mi 11X and other devices as well so let's go ahead and get rid of this menu and let's go to settings from here now as you can see over here you can directly go settings from here now i did read a comment yesterday which said that why do youtubers go to settings from over here why can't you directly go to settings from the settings icon the reason for that is for us to go to settings using the settings icon you have to open the app drawer and you have to look for the second settings icon now what happens here is you do have a dedicated icon and it quickly takes you to the settings menu right now apart from this on the home screen you have your home settings this is your basic pixel launcher which is doing a great job so nothing to worry there even if you go to about you do see this is the pixel launcher and if you talk about widgets you do have your android 12 widgets available which are doing a great job once again and then last but not the least you have wallpaper and style now this is very very significant once again because this is monet ui and the monet ui on cherish os 3.1 is doing an excellent job because no matter no no matter what wallpaper you choose for example these are dull these are not bright wallpapers so let's look at curated culture say you go purple all together the whole ui adopts the purple theme which is really really neat somebody today told me that even if you go to the google play store yeah so you see over here the monet theming engine is working in the google play store as well let's look at chrome for that matter no i don't think chrome has gotten that feature yet but most of the applications are following the monet theming system and i think in a couple of months almost all the system applications which are by google or third party applications like which are not pre installed applications by google will start getting this monet ui look and feel which is really really good as you can see the whole ui has adapted to the purple color which is really great one thing that i talk about in every video and i am not spoken about it yet is the google feed now in this particular rom i'm pleased to say that the google feed is really really smooth it works absolutely fine there are no problems whatsoever the smoothness on this rom is just next level now if you talk about the built in applications you don't really have a lot of built in applications and that is the reason this rom feels really really smooth and fluid although the camera situation could have been better you get a very very basic camera application no additional features no portrait nothing at all so yeah I mean you can just click pictures for memories nothing else you can install gcam or anx camera this is a redmi k20 pro and yeah you can do a ton of things on this device now let's actually go to settings over here now if you go to settings and go to about phone and you click on the android version you do see that this is the cherish os logo along with android version 12 so if you keep tapping on it and you take your Android 12 clock to 12 p.m. You get your Android 12 Easter egg, which looks beautiful. Now, this is the name of the maintainer. It comes with the latest November security patch. It runs the Soviet Star kernel, so it'll be fun looking at the benchmark numbers. Trust me, they are not out of the world, but they are pretty decent for an Android 12 ROM. Now, another neat and important thing that we need to talk about over here is the way settings looks. But apart from this, we have Cherish settings over here. so we'll explore that real quick but before that let me give you a heads up that you know in wifi in connected devices you don't really have any new features but what i have noticed is this particular rom has monet almost completely working because the switches are also following the purple theme as you can see over here if i enable disable anything it gets purple and then back to gray which is really really neat now let's go to cherish settings because this is cherish os 3.1 and uh, expect a few things to be missing 
because remember these are initial builds and things will get added with time so you have status bar quick settings themes buttons animations lock screen power menu notifications miscellaneous and then you have the about section so without a doubt just like resurrection remix havoc os cherish os has a ton of customization and that really gets a lot of people excited so let's go to status bar over here you do see that you already have a ton of customization available over here now you have double tap to sleep carrier label clock settings traffic indicators show data disabled icons 4g icon volt icon roaming indicator so let's enable the 4g icon over here let's disable the volt icon so yeah these things are definitely working which is really good for such an early build you have status bar items and you have battery settings so you can choose a different icon type a lot of people were asking me in the poco x3 pro video how did you get that round battery style so this is how you do it if you want the battery percentage you can set it next to the icon you can set it status bar top and different things so you can actually keep a battery bar as well as you can see over here battery bars are really exciting most of the time you can have a charging animation as well that is something really neat now moving on you have quick settings over here running services icon edit icon vibrate on touch quick settings pull down there is disabled you can keep it to the right or the left and you have quick setting footers then you have themes yeah it lagged a bit over there i don't know why but yeah use custom color okay so then it's not following monet right use linear lightness so you have customization for monet as well now which is coming in different custom rounds which is really really neat now if you talk about button you have music control reorient volume rocker wake keyboard cursor control toggle torch when screen is off so those things are good then you have animations you can yeah say i i set it to rotate right so there you go yeah this kind of looks slow and funny so um oh wow let's accelerate this Ooh. so let's put it to flip maybe there you go okay duration yeah you can keep it fast yeah this is still slow you should keep it like ultra fast or something Let's see here oh yeah it worked now yeah this looks neat it, it looks like one of those china phones from the earlier days so yeah <laughs> better use it with caution otherwise i know anyways th these are good things that you get with custom roms and you should really go ahead and give it's it's the beauty of a custom rom is not only in its performance that is the icing on the cake the beauty of a custom rom is in these additional features because you guys don't understand as much as you know the performance is a very integral part the battery life and the stability is an integral part of a custom rom these customizations are the things which separate you know roms from each other so you should definitely give them a try and highlight them more because people work behind them and they do it for free so appreciate that anyways apart from animations we have lock screen double tap to sleep double tap to wake lock screen charging info music visualizer so you can go ahead and enable or disable those then you have the power menu you have a ton of options in power menu for example if you see over here you have a screenshot menu there you have it right you can delete it right away and then you have notifications you can make a lot of changes to the notifications as well and you have miscellaneous and you have charging animation brightness control and then you have the about section so you should definitely have a look if you are blessed with the ability to donate please donate these guys because they are doing it for free and they are bringing amazing custom roms to our device so now that's everything about cherish os settings and apart from this if i show you other things in like sound for example you will have the usual stuff you either have the direct sound enhancer over here or you have the mi sound enhancer right if you go to display this is a 60 hertz display so apart from the basic options you won't really have anything interesting for example if i'm reviewing a rom on the poco x3 pro or the mi 11x i can look for a refresh rate toggle option or high brightness mode and things like those but on the k20 pro it's really straightforward at the most you will have the color profile changer to change it to more saturated and stuff like that so it doesn't make any sense to go to each and every settings just to make you know the video long but what i will tell you is if you actually go to security you will see that you have the fingerprint scanner which is a really really important thing uh let's go ahead and lock here there you go yeah so even on always on display most of the time the fingerprint is working absolutely fine sometimes it takes a while and 
remember if it is slow i yeah i had some issues with my thumb last week because of which sometimes the fingerprint scanner is not working but otherwise the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine and there are a few bugs in this rom which we will talk about after the benchmark numbers so now you know let's let's actually jump into the benchmark the safety net the Play Store device being certified DRM info, which will tell you if you should install this ROM or not. Now, the first thing that you'll talk about is, of course, safety net, right? So, let's go to Play Store and let's go to settings. You do see over here the device is certified, so safety net passes out of the box. And if you go ahead and talk about DRM info, wide when L1 works absolutely fine. So you should not have any problems playing your Amazon Prime HD or Netflix. So these are two things where you're taken care of banking applications and entertainment is taken care of. Now let's talk about the CPU throttle test real quick. All right, now, as you can see, CPU throttled to 90% of its max performance and the average score was 162,676 GIPS and the highest score was 155. So one of my subscribers and elite testers did tell me before actually shooting this video that this ROM has a tendency of, you know, down clocking a lot because of which we are seeing these low scores now let's actually go to geekbench real quick so 747 single core and 2483 multi core the multi score is low again and let's talk about n22 benchmark over here 533,000 and 337 that's the score a pretty decent score for the redmi k20 pro and if you ask me the last and important question the battery life the battery life on this rom is decent it's it's good for a android 12 based rom you can definitely get through a day if your device is not really really old and your battery is not wearing out the charging is fine you know it gives you like one and a half hour zero to hundred so that's like in the neighborhood of 20 to 25 watts if you're using a 27 watt charger and about two hours if you're using the stock 18 watts charger so all in all cherry shows 3.1 looks like a very promising rom but as i said you know there are certain ui glitches while charging there are certain you know down core issues or you know down clocking issues and stuff like that so you might want to wait or if you're really really eager to try all these features and options there's no harm you know you might not be able to uh, you know go ahead and have superb rock solid performance like android 11 roms but i tried a couple of matches of pubg remember i said i'll talk about gaming i tried a couple of matches of pubg and new state as well and trust me in those 15 to 20 minutes i did not observe any lags i also have the fps meter on but still the performance was pretty good even in hard drops like Senog bootcamp with a squad so all in all rock solid rom cherry show is 3.1 they are doing a great job let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off with phone off keep smiling take care goodbye